Jedi Master sifo Dyas is one of the most interesting figures in the Star Wars universe. Although sifo Dyas didn't appear on screen until the Clone Wars series, he was mentioned and was a prominent figure in Attack of the Clone. If you remember back to clones, sifo Dyas was in fact the Jedi Master that commissioned the creation of the clone army. Ironically, and without his knowledge, with the help of the Sith, as Darth Plagueis, as he go to mask, supplied all of the money necessary for the clone army. sifo Dyas was a divisive figure among the Jedi, and at one point in his life as a Jedi Master, did actually sit upon the Jedi High Council. But today though, we will explain why Jedi Master sifo Dyas was removed from the Jedi Council, and why many Jedi deemed him too extreme. As a Jedi Knight, sifo Dyas and Dooku came up together in prominence, as the two of them also formed an extremely close relationship, with them being described as best friends and having some of the strongest wills of the Jedi Order. It was clear that Dooku was by far far more flashy than sifo Dyas was, but sifo Dyas was the brains behind the operation. The two of them would often bond over their troubles and concerns with the Jedi Order and the Republic as a whole, and both Jedi were also renowned for being a bit extreme in their beliefs. Although admittedly, Dooku was far more extreme in his beliefs than sifo Dyas was. Still though, sifo Dyas' reputation spoke for itself, as he gained the reputation of being a master of the underworld, and one of the greatest spies the Jedi Order had at the time. sifo Dyas was also renowned for his political skills. Oftentimes, if it came down to lightsaber combat, Dooku would be the one to shine. But if sifo Dyas was there, the odds of a lightsaber fight ensuing was far lessened, as his skills in negotiation were bar none. It was because of this that sifo Dyas was given the rank of Jedi Master and promoted to the Jedi High Council, before Dooku was ever offered a role on the Jedi High Council, despite being far more skilled and powerful in the Force as well as with the lightsaber. Unfortunately though, sifo Dyas' more extreme political beliefs grew beyond the Jedi, and he would bring his various concerns to the Jedi Council. sifo Dyas was also renowned as telling it exactly how it was, calling out various Jedi Masters over his time on the Council, specifically Yoda. sifo Dyas sensed something dark moving within the Force, perhaps before any other Jedi besides maybe Dooku. sifo Dyas could actually feel the dark side of the Force in motion, and begin to feel the beginnings of a plot to destroy and overthrow the Jedi, the same thing that Dooku was sensing. Although as Dooku wanted to learn more about the dark side in this plot, sifo Dyas was determined to do anything he could to prevent this. The downside was, many of the other Jedi Masters could not sense this to begin with, and grew extremely weary of sifo Dyas. It was because of this that the High Council put it to a vote, and sifo Dyas was eventually removed from the High Council. Still though, they could not do anything about him because of his great reputation, and still being clearly aligned with the light side of the Four. Although many Jedi suspected that one day he may embrace his darker nature. In reality though, sifo Dyas was a lot like Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn. If he believed the Jedi Council were wrong, he would say something about it. And his actions for various conflicts were more extreme than is common for a Jedi. sifo Dyas' philosophy was to deal with a problem, not dance around it. In fact, sifo Dyas was one of the main role models for Qui-Gon Jinn. And as a Jedi Master himself, Qui-Gon Jinn was pretty much the perfect merging of Dooku's and sifo Dyas' philosophies. Again, it was because of this seeing the dark side of the Force that many other Jedi could not sense that sifo Dyas commissioned the creation of the clone army, knowing that the dark side was moving in unknown regions, and in areas blinded by the Jedi, even sifo Dyas. But still though, sifo Dyas was determined to give the Jedi and the Republic all the help that they needed even if they themselves disagreed with the methods. But that is why Jedi Master sifo Dyas was removed from the Jedi Council, and sifo Dyas was not actually on the Jedi Council when he commissioned the creation of the clone army. But what are your thoughts on this, and do you ultimately agree with Jedi Master sifo Dyas and his methods? Or do you, like many other Jedi, believe him to be too extreme? Thank you guys as always so much for watching, may the Force be with you, and have a great day.